Hey guys, Darrell Addison at torpedopot.com. Darrell Addison at torpedopot.com. And what you're looking at is every gardener's dream come true. Torpedo Pot brings your dreams to life. Look at these plants. Are they not stunning and beautiful? Are they not healthy? Now, people grow seeds generally in two ways. Or grow plants, have plants develop in two ways. You can have a seed or you can take a cutting off a plant and just let it replicate itself over and over and over again. Now the problem with seeds is that no really two plants are the same. Really no two plants are the same. Because that seed is coming from two other plants and two other, two other. It survived so many years. That seed survived so many years. Now today's seeds may be engineered to a certain degree, but so we planted these as seeds a while ago, okay? And we started out and you can look at the video and this one planter we had about, sheesh, I guess about 70 seeds in the one planter. We grew those tomatoes to about six inches in height. And then, uh, six inches in height. And then we, we took them to other places throughout the location. So it's amazing what you're looking at here. It's amazing, 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 amazing what you're looking at here. Absolutely stunning. And the color on all of them is just, it's just amazing. It really is amazing. It's a sight to see. Well, now it's available to you. So you can have the same stunningness in your plants as we do. This is truly, truly amazing. And they're just growing in so many different places. So many different places. So these are our tomato plants. And uh, we started out with a lot of seeds. Um, we, and then they grew into seedlings. We planted seedlings in other places. And now we're seeing stunning results like these. Look at them. Now, in your garden, if you were to plant anything this straggly right here, anything that's not of this development type in your garden right now would, would have died a long time ago. So we need to see what little baby is doing over here. What is she giving us for the space that she's occupying in this pot? And we're gonna see that. We're going to really see that, what they have to offer. And it looks like they have a lot to offer. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll go back. But um, this is what's going on. I mean, well, who would wanna eat anything so beautiful? All right, so let's go through the rehab, recap, everything we've done so far. <clears throat> we realized that we put the tomatoes um, uh, seeds in, they grew, and uh, then at about, I would say about, make, I'm making it simple for you, okay? At about, uh, when it starts to get into the third tier growth, maybe the third, fourth, fifth set of leaves, I go back and I prune and take off all of the older leaves because they're gonna turn brown and they're not absorbing a lot of the light to help the plant do what I wanted to do and that is produce a lot of food, okay? So I take it and I cut it back. Now this doesn't work for all plants, all right? This only works with tomatoes. Those lower leaves, they take up a lot of space and they block a lot of light. If you have a lot of light block, your plants turn brown because the process of taking that light and turning it into food for the nutrients for the plant to use is, uh, is gonna be challenging. So cut the lower uh, limbs off. You got light, you don't need those branching. It's, a, it's, it's already absorbing less light. It's taking up more space, so cut it back but only cut it back also at certain times. Don't cut it back when you, well actually, you can do whatever you wanna do. Uh, professional growers though, take a look at how you cut back because that would affect the fruit that you come out. You gotta cut it back at the same time, hit it with nutrients on, in the, on, the, um, on the back end. And so that gives it the strength to overcome. Now, in these pots, oh my gosh, I've had other plants 
growing with my tomatoes, okay? I have other plants growing with my tomatoes. I mean, I have Swiss chard that was growing in these planters. I have cabbage. I had, and I pulled them all out. If you go back to the original videos, we had celery in each planter. The celery roots were really, really deep. And I love putting that celery in because the celery, listen very closely, <clears throat> helps build up a microbial defense in the soil before I put the tomato plants in. And that's what the celery does. And so it started that biodiversity in the soil for me. And the tomatoes came in later on and kicked it in and made it so beautiful. And so there's a lot to this science, even the design of the pot, that makes this such a great product. A great product. Makes this such a great, great product. All right, I just want to run this guy, you guys. I want you to see what's going on at torpedoplant.com. And uh, the systems we're putting together here should work in your house. Follow our directions. Look at the videos. If you do not look at the videos, if you do not look at the videos, you will not get cutting edge technology. Now, this is what I want you to do. If you take this video, oh, we're still growing as a company and we cannot take huge volumes of purchases, but you need to, to give this video to your friends uh, that matter the most. So they'll have an option. Oh, by the way, the soil in this uh, planter, you never, you never have to change the soil. You only turn it over. The soil will last indefinitely. So you have the ability to grow more food, less space, less soil, less water. You have so many opportunities in your hands right now. Isn't that a beautiful picture? That picture is so beautiful. I mean, who looks through tomato plants and all they see are flowers? Well, the only work you have to do is put soil in a, in a planter. Hey, talk to you guys later. I talked too much already. All right, bye-bye.